Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Books Akimbo, a place to find your next great read and connect with other book lovers. I'm Cassie, and this week I wanted to feature the novel We Need New Names by No Violet Bulawayo. It's a challenging and compelling book that will change the way you think about storytelling. We Need New Names is the searing coming-of-age story of Darling, the 10-year-old resident of the Zimbabwean shantytown called Paradise. The settlement is made up of people whose homes were bulldozed by the Mugabe government, and hunger and desperation are rife there. However, Darling and her group of friends take pleasure where they can, sneaking into the wealthy suburb called Budapest to steal guavas and gaze at the fine houses. School was shut down when all the teachers left, so the children pass their time singing the songs of Lady Gaga, playing Find Bin Laden, and the all-important country game, where Darling and her friends vie to be the country countries, like the USA, Britain, Switzerland, France, and so on. A plane ticket is a ticket to freedom, and Darling knows it better than most, because Darling is no ordinary girl. She has her Aunt Faustalina in the city of destroyed Michigan, USA, and she knows that someday she will go there. Now, I won't say any more plot-wise, as Darling's journey should feel as uncertain to the reader as it does to her, but I will say that this is not a comfortable read, nor an Oliver Twist-like rags to riches tale. There are haunting scenes, such as when Darling and her friends feel obliged to dance and sing for aid workers in order to receive gifts, and when the opportunity comes to sell a dead woman's shoes for a loaf of bread and the fact that Darling's friend Chipo has gone quiet ever since, as Darling says, somebody made her pregnant. But it's important to note that Bulawayo doesn't overstate these tragedies. They are simply a fact of life for the characters. She has been praised by critics for using linguistic verve to turn Darling's story from one of suffering into one of resilience. I've selected some reviews here. Please feel free to pause the video to read them more closely. Bulawayo has, however, been criticized, along with other contemporary African writers, by Nigerian author Helon Habila, as he says, for performing Africa. He argues that by overloading a piece of writing with bleak and horrific events in a CNN Western media coverage of Africa poverty porn sense, then readers will become desensitized to the stereotype of the continent. Now, I'm not sure what to think about this myself. While I agree that the world needs to see a wide variety of stories from African countries, stories of all subjects and genres, a writer should not be punished, surely, for including events in their novels which are happening to real people every day. While We Need New Names is classed as fiction, I believe that the way Bulawayo depicts a country and community falling apart is more telling and evocative than most news items. What do you think? Remarkably, this is Bulawayo's first novel. Born in Zimbabwe but moving to America as a teenager, Bulawayo's link to Darling is clear, even if the novel is not strictly autobiographical. We Need New Names had an unusual beginning as a short story first published in the Boston Review. Hitting Budapest won the Kane Prize in 2011 and was so well received that Bulawayo set to writing Darling's full story in a novel, with the excerpt as the first chapter. So to sum up, I would recommend this book to anyone who wants a fresh style of writing, an engaging protagonist, and an unflinching commentary on the global wealth divide. It's not a light read for the beach, but We Need New Names has an important and timely story to tell. Now just a note on the images of children used in this video. They are used with permission from an image library site. They are not connected with the novel, but I believe they show the spirit of the characters. As they show real people, I use them with gratitude and with respect. So thanks for joining me on this edition of Books Akimbo. Feel free to give feedback on the episodes and suggest books to feature via the comments section below. You can also engage with the channel on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Check out the links in the description. Oh, and keep those suggestions coming for the Flamingo mascot's name. The winner will be announced on April 1st. I hope you have a good week. Thanks for listening.